Welcome to this tutorial. Today, we're going to talk about concrete nouns. Let's get started. Nouns can be concrete or abstract. Now, concrete nouns are tangible and you can experience them with your five senses. On the other hand, abstract nouns refer to intangible things like actions, feelings, ideals, concepts, and qualities. Have a look at the example over here. Food is great, but love is even greater. Note that the noun food in the sentence is a concrete noun because food is tangible and you can experience it with your five senses. Love, on the other hand, is an abstract noun because it refers to something that is intangible, feeling. Now a concrete noun is a noun that can be identified through one of the five senses, touch, sight, hearing, smell, or taste. Have a look at the following examples. Who turned off the TV? Note that the noun TV in the sentence is a concrete noun. And in this sentence, what is that noise? Note that even though noise can't be touched, you can hear it. So it's a concrete noun. Now, concrete nouns fall into several categories. Let's have a look at those categories. A. People. For example, mother, friend, teacher, stranger, etc. B. Places. For example, school, McDonald's, Las Vegas, India, etc. C. Things you can touch and see. For example, plane, cup, lamp, book, etc. D. Things you can hear. For example, music, noise, someone's voice, song, etc. E. Things you can smell and taste. For example, herbs, cookies, bread, wine, etc. Now remember that concrete nouns can denote people, places, or things you can touch and see. Now read the following sentences and underline them. The burglar broke into their house. Burglar. I want to travel to Dubai and see Birdie Khalifa with my own eyes. Dubai, Birdie Khalifa. Could you pass me the water bottle standing over there? The water bottle. Also remember that concrete nouns can denote things you can hear and things you can smell and taste. Now read the following sentences and underline those concrete nouns. Where is that sound coming from? Sound. There is nothing better than freshly baked cookies. Cookies. Here is a short story using concrete nouns. Listen as I read so you can see how they are used in real life conversation. After I'm done, make sure you understand all the grammar and read aloud yourself so that you can work on your own fluency and pronunciation. We went to the Maldives on our honeymoon. Wow, I know that there are a lot of luxury hotels and resorts. Yeah, they can be quite pricey, but I was saving up money for this occasion. I booked a honeymoon suite for us with Carol. Did she like it? Absolutely. There were rose petals on the king-size bed, there were candles everywhere, and you could see the ocean right through the windows. 
was a magical place. And now it's time for you to practice on your own. Read the following sentences and underline the concrete nouns. A. It was my dream to become a teacher. B. What's that noise? Where is it coming from? C. Ugh, it tastes like feet. I can't eat it. D. Her mom likes to bake apple pies on Sundays. E. A lot of teens don't go to prom. F. I've been dreaming about going to Spain. G. Sometimes you can't get a good job without higher education. H. It was a real act of bravery. I. Reading books with your child is a great bonding opportunity. J. Should I get you anything? I'm going to the shop. And now, let's check your answers. Teacher, noise, feet, mom, pies, teens, Spain, job, education, bravery, books, child, shop. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Welcome to this tutorial. Today, we're going to talk about abstract nouns. Let's get started. Remember, the nouns can be concrete or abstract. Now, concrete nouns are tangible and you can experience them with your five senses. Whereas, abstract nouns refer to intangible things, such as actions, feelings, ideals, concepts and qualities. Have a look at the example over here. Food is great, but love is even greater. Note that the noun food in the sentence is a concrete noun, as it refers to a tangible thing. And love is an abstract noun because it refers to something that is intangible. Feeling. Now, abstract nouns fall into several categories. Let's have a look at those. A. Emotions and feelings, such as anger, sadness, love, grief, etc. B. Human qualities and characteristics, such as beauty, maturity, humor, patience, etc. C. Ideas and concepts, such as knowledge, freedom, luxury, comfort, etc. D. Events, for example, marriage, birthday, career, adventure, etc. Now, many abstract nouns are formed from adjectives, verbs, or nouns. And sometimes you can add a suffix to the concrete noun or alter the word root to form abstract nouns. As in the example below, child is a concrete noun, whereas ch 
childhood is an abstract noun. And remember, the nouns with the following suffix are often abstract. Shen is in devotion. Ism is in pessimism. Iti, hospitality. Ment, movement. Nas is in restlessness. Age is in marriage. Ends is in brilliance. Ends is in indifference. Ship, for example, relationship. Ability, such as availability. AC, bureaucracy. Now let's review and practice a bit. Remember that abstract nouns can denote emotions and feelings or human qualities and characteristics. Now have a read of the following sentences and underline the abstract nouns. Michael's indifference was breeding hate towards him. Indifference? Hate. Her dedication is something that can't be ignored. Dedication. Also remember that abstract nouns can denote ideas and concepts or events. Now have a read of the following sentences and underline the abstract nouns. Freedom of speech is a basic human right. Freedom? Right. Will you attend Kate and William's wedding? Wedding. And remember, the many abstract nouns are formed from adjectives, verbs, or nouns. And sometimes you can add a suffix to the concrete noun or alter the word root to form abstract nouns. Now read the following sentences and fill in the blank with the appropriate abstract noun. They totally failed. I was a total failure. Here is a short story using abstract nouns. Listen as I read so you can see how they are used in real-life conversation. After I'm done, make sure you understand all the grammar and read aloud yourself so that you can work on your own fluency and pronunciation. It was such a lovely wedding. Yeah, you're right. There was so much love and appreciation in the air. And I couldn't stop looking at those two. They were destined to be together. I don't believe in destiny or anything like that, but I'm really happy that their friendship grew into a loving relationship based on mutual respect and trust. And now it's time for you to practice on your own. Read the following sentences and fill in the gaps using the words in brackets to form Abstract nouns. A. Conceive the word. Kind. B. Kate's parents can stop talking about the of going to college. Important. C. My brother's will get him nowhere. Lazy. D. It was my to accompany you. Please. E. I could see all shades of in her action. Angry. F. 
F. Jake had all sorts of when he saw his crush talking to another guy. Think. G. I am sure that our will last forever. Friend. H. I couldn't contain my excited. I. Dogs are known for their loyal. J. I value above all honest. And now let's check your answers. Kindness can save the world. Kate's parents can stop talking about the importance of going to college. My brother's laziness will get him nowhere. It was my pleasure to accompany you. I could see all shades of anger in her actions. Jake had all sorts of thoughts when he saw his crush talking to another guy. I am sure that our friendship will last forever. I couldn't contain my excitement. Dogs are known for their loyalty. I value honesty above all. Thank you for watching this tutorial.